Blue by Papa Stash. It's been 44 years since Stan began making balloons better than anyone can. His first balloon was plain and blue. He made it for his daughter Sue. Today he'd make his final few from sheets of rubber and some glue. He finished seven and was almost through, then made his last one plain and blue. When Stan stepped out to go for a walk, that's when the balloons began to talk. We are going to the zoo. What about the rest of you? I am going to be cool flying near a swimming pool. I am leading a brigade in this afternoon's parade. I am going to a clown since the circus came to town. I am going to a party for a little boy named Marty. I am going to a friend. I'm the gift he could not send. And what about you, Blue? I don't know where I'll go, but I'm special, that I know. You? Special? You're just blue and plain too. Why, you're not even worth talking to. Stop, stop, all of you. It's not nice making blue feel blue. When most of the balloons had left the store, Stan had to do only one thing more. He took some paint and his favorite brush, then went to work, but he didn't rush. Stan closed the shop, and on the way to his car, he tripped and fell on some slippery soft tar. Stan let go of the string he held tight. At that very instant, Blue took flight. Blue flew fifty feet down the street and hit nothing, which was quite a feat. Then he bumped the sign, but didn't stop. More importantly, he didn't pop. I wonder why Stan let me go. If I was so special like he told me so. Blue flew around feeling really let down. Then he spotted the clown way down on the ground. The clown balloon looked up at the sky and saw that Blue was passing him by. Why oh why can't I fly high and not be tied to this funny guy? I'm sick of smelling elephant poo. Why can't I be just like Blue? The wind blew blue and Blue flew fast past the rocket ship tied down fast. Why oh why can't I fly high and not be tied to the birthday guy? I'm a rocket ship. I'm supposed to fly and be with Blue up in the sky. Lion and the tiger too watched as Blue flew into few. Why oh why can't we fly high and be like Blue up in the sky? Although we know we bring good cheer, we'd rather soar away from here. Blue flew by on a slightly light breeze, skirting the trees with the greatest of ease. Look at Blue so happy and free. Gee, how I wish that could be me. Blue flew over the town's main street, filled with the sound of the drummer's beat. He saw the star, it looked quite proud, passing before the cheering crowd. I could be swayed not to lead this parade for a chance to fly high like Blue in the sky. I don't see why they want to be flying alone, just like me. I am as happy as I could be, seeing Blue just flying free. Now I see what's special about me. I'm not held, so I can fly free. Blue flew through a feathery flock, passing over the tower's clock. He was happier than any lark, flying over the city's park. Blue flew over a roaring train, then glided under a quiet plain. Flying is fun, freedom is great, just so long as I don't deflate. Blue's date with fate was coming soon, then he'll be singing a different tune. The wind, it shifted, blowing Blue down, hurling him towards the dangerous ground. All Blue could see was soon that he'd be torn by a thorn, and then he'd be gone. Zooming down, Blue screamed and yelled, Now all I want is to be held. Sunflower caught him. It was a close call. But now he was safe once and for all. Or was he? Blue now thought he was safe at last, but he didn't see what was coming fast. Until Sunflower shouted, Stay away! But try as you may, you don't have much say. When it comes to kittens, they never obey. Do they? She grabbed Blue String and ran away. All she wanted to do was play. She was having so much fun, but poor Blue was having none. 
All Blue saw was paws and claws and extra sharp teeth inside those jaws. All she saw was something brand new and much more interesting than Blue. Cool. With springs in her feet, she sprung in the air, almost catching the bird unaware. But pigeons are quick and get out of the way. Their timing is faster than kittens at play. Some say curiosity killed a cat. Blue couldn't care less about that. All he knew was he was free. But not for long, if you will see. The kitten gave chase and tried to keep pace, but suddenly stopped to watch a butterfly race. Blue's future looked bright, but despite his delight, it didn't feel right being pulled like a kite. If Pigeon could, she certainly would get rid of Blue and for good. Pigeon wanted just one thing. It wasn't Blue, it was his string. When Blue saw Stan, he made a plan. I'll bump and pound and make a sound, then good old Stan will turn around. Bump, bump. But balloons are not renowned for sound, and never did Stan turn around. The nurse walked in and right away knew that right outside was Stan's lost blue. She knew that Stan was feeling let down, so she whispered to him, Stan, turn around. Stan turned around, and to his surprise, he couldn't believe what he saw with his eyes. Right outside was his lost blue. He was so thankful his wish had come true. Stan had no idea where blue had been, and it didn't matter. He just pulled blue in. My first balloon was plain and blue. I made it for another Sue. This last one, too, is plain and blue, and I made it just for you. Thank you, Grandpa. I love you, too. Now Blue knew that it was true. He is special, through and through. I love you. The end. Thanks for reading. You can contact me at papastache at yahoo.com.